Hey guys, Sandy here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing with you my how to kill a kit with style for the month of July. And I'm doing something um, with this right here. So this is These Days by Coco Vanilla Studio. And this is the collection kit. So it comes with two each of the papers and then one of the 6x12 stickers. And this is what I'm going to base my kit on this month. I've also pulled in a lot of other papers, so this is not going to be the only paper. So, let me just give you a run through of the papers here. They're not, they're not matched up together, so let's just do the papers. We have, of course, um, this beautiful floral right here. We have these frames, now you could cut those out if you wanted to, or you could use this orangey color right there. We have the houses, and then on the other side, this black and white drawing. The faux watercolor around the outside, and then that gorgeous rainbow. When I'm gonna talk about that side, because we will be using the polka dotted side. The cut apart sheet here. And then on this side is a heart. Um, I don't know. Let's put the heart up because I'm not sure if I'm actually going to use the cut apart. So here is a small floral pattern. On the back is a wood grain. And then we are repeating. So we have the yellow crosshatch on that side. We have this... Um, On that side, the houses, I'm, I really don't think I'm going to use the houses. The watercolor paper with the rainbow, so with the watercolor, we know we're not using that side, so we're getting two polka dots. We'll leave up a cut apart sheet. Then we have the wood grain, and then I pulled this paper out of the packet to, and I don't know what I did with it. We'll find it. We'll find it. So we have this one as well. So what I did was grabbed a bunch of papers that I thought would either go with it as a good color match um, or it is a darker or a lighter version of the color so I could mix and match. So this is a close to my heart paper. This is also a close to my heart paper. It's got these little pink dots but it's also these gray and white stripes. This sage paper on this side and this brighter green on this side, I figure I could use either one of those. This is a basic gray pattern paper called granola from flax, granola flax. So brought in that blue. Now this is definitely a darker version of the blue that's here but I figured I could make that work. Again, a darker version. It ma pretty much matches those little hearts. I'll put it that way. I brought in another wood grain. I have this pale pink, this teal blue, sky bluey color, this purpley color, which is pretty, pretty far off. Um, but you know what? I still think I can make it work. Here's that other sheet of the cocoa vanilla paper with that sage green on it. Now, this side of the paper, probably a little bit more than this side of the paper. And then I have this yellow that I brought in, this teal. And then, of course, I also brought in some white cardstock and some khaki cardstock. And that is just so I have, you know, the options, right? So lots of colors, and you can kind of see where it starts with the very cocoa vanilla feel, obviously, because I'm doing all the papers. And then it ends up with something a little bit more bright and maybe a little bit more fun. I don't know. Um, I did pull in these wood grain thickers. They're called Detail. And then I also brought lots of packages of partially used things. So I have these chipboard accents. I want to use these up this month. I brought in the Jelly Bean Soup stickers for Bowl of 
dreams because these are all darker colors of what is already there. I brought in a couple Coco Vanilla sticker sheets. So I have Daydream and also Endless Summer. And then I brought in a bunch of gold stuff. So these gold stickers, these gold words from Second Avenue, stuff falling out all over the place. Um, these from Vicki Booten. Um, I also brought in the Simple Stories Summer Farmhouse stickers because the colors kind of worked for me. Brought in some Love from Lizzie Peeloffs in this beautiful green. And then a couple of word stickers. These are, I think these are both from P13. These are definitely from P13. I think these are. I'm not sure. Um, brought in a couple doilies, of course. I brought in some cork, because you guys know I love me some cork. Want to use up the last little bit of this cork ribbon. And then I have a couple tickets here. I brought in my absolute favorite gold sequins from Brutus Monroe. Some pink fresh enamel dots in just a little lovely. I figured those were close enough of a match. And then I brought in some things that have been hanging around my scrap room for a little while. So I have these faux wax seals from some Maggie Holmes collection. The Believe Word, a couple of leather flowers. These are from Making Memories days, you guys, so these are ancient. Um, a word that says home, some wood veneer hearts, camera, and words that say you and me. And then, of course, I brought in some silver, too. These tried to make their way in earlier. So I have these metal pieces here. I brought in this flare that says this way. This is from October afternoon. And then I have a goal of getting rid of these flowers during this kit as well. So there it is, you guys, my kit based on the Coco Vanilla collection these days. Of course, the these day stickers are here too. Um, I think I'm gonna have some fun with this one. This one's a little bit more pastel-y, but I feel like I brought in some of the bright things. And then of course, you know I'm gonna bring in more stuff. It's not just gonna be the kit. I am definitely a kit cheater. So there it is, you guys. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys again real soon for another video.